Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do something that I've been wanting to do, but I just never had the courage to do so. My first impression on meeting these past Miss Universe queens. Let me just go ahead and throw it out there. I actually met majority, if not all the queens, if, except one at the Miss Universe 2018 pageant. Of course, that was the year Demi Lee Nell Peters, who was Miss South Africa 2017. She was the reigning Miss Universe, and of course, her successor was Catriona Gray. That is the reason why I'm wearing this, because we just want to give a highlight to the Philippines. Shout out to the Filipinos. Hello, Kababayans. Much love to you all. The best pageant fanatics in the world, if not the universe. So let's just get into it. The first queen that I met was the 1991 Miss Universe, the, none other than the beautiful Miss Lupita Jones, she represented Mexico in 1991. She was crowned in Las Vegas. Lupita was actually very intimidating to approach. I got a text from Kyle saying, hey, look behind you, and I looked behind me. Where I was seated during the preliminary competition, you know that it was an X, right? So I was just right here. And like the national directors for all the countries were like behind me on the upper, upper level row. When I look back, the first person I saw was Carlos Fernandez. Um, I had met him prior. By the way, Carlos Fernandez is the director for the Miss Universe organization. But I actually looked towards his right and I saw Denise Quinones. And I was like, oh my gosh, Miss Universe 2001. But then I looked to the opposite side of Carlos and I see this woman and I'm like trying to figure out like, who is she, right? Until he texted me and goes, 1991. And I look back and I'm like, Oh my gosh, how can I forget? Lupita's year was one of the first pageants I remembered because I was fascinated by her gown. I went up to her and I actually just approached her and I was like, Miss Universe, hi, um, can we take a picture? It was on selfie mode, but instead of picture, I had it on video. That way, if she agrees or not, I have her on video and I could always go back and do a screenshot. I was like, hi, Miss Universe. Can we take a picture? She kind of just looked at me and her exact words were make it quick, right? Honestly speaking, I was not rude. If anything, I was just too excited. I was just kind of hurt. She's kind of a big deal because she was the first winner from Mexico to win the Miss Universe crown. So the second queen, of course, that I met, of course, she was right beside her, was Miss Puerto Rico 2001, Denise Quinones. So I went up to Denise and I was like, hi, Puerto Rico. And she was just a breath of fresh air. She was so sweet. She was so bubbly. She was smiling. She was thanking me for approaching her. So we went back to the hotel, Dusitani or Dusitani or whichever. But interestingly enough, we found another beauty queen. So we bumped into Gabriella Isler. Gabriella was nice. I didn't have so much time with her. I, I felt like her other half or her husband was kind of like in a hurry. She was approachable and she was talking to my friend and I. Her hubby was like pulling her hand. So like we took that as a hint, right? Demi, I actually ended up uh, bumping into her after the pageant, the actual pageant where she crowned Catriona Gray. So here comes Demi with her other half and I'm like, <gasps> At that moment, I did not do my recording, but I was ready to take pictures. So I approached Demi and I'm like, hi Demi. And then she was like, oh, hi, hello. And then, you know, I asked her, I'm like, can we take a picture? She was like, oh yeah, sure, that'll be lovely. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, yes. But we went to the after party for the Miss Universe. And um, I actually met the 1992 Miss Universe, Michelle McLean. Michelle represented Namibia, of course, People knew more of her because she was one of the judges, right? And like people were approaching her, wanting to take pictures and stuff. So I, I actually approached her and I was like, hi, Michelle. And you know, she's so sweet. She's like, hi. I was like, can we take a picture? She was like, of course. And then I told her, I was like, I remember you're winning in 1992. And it's just so interesting to see that the reigning queen from your pageant who crowned you is here. And she goes, oh yes. We did take a couple of pictures with her and yeah, I want to say that she was really nice. By the way, I was hoping to see Miss Universe 2005 
Natalie Glebova from Canada. Of course, we saw her in the preliminary and the Miss Universe uh, coronation night, but you know, we didn't see each other face to face. I'm gonna go ahead and rewind it a few years back to Miss Universe 2016, when Iris won Miss Universe, of course, in the Philippines. We were there because Pia was the reigning queen. Of course, Miss France, I actually did not meet her. But a few moments after she was crowned, she was brought back to the hotel. I remember my friend Xavier like tapped me on my shoulder and goes, Ping, Ping, France, Miss Universe, Miss Universe. I'm like, where, where, where? That's the first time I've ever seen a queen like in front of my face. And of course, she was just crowned a few minutes ago. Or... So I was like, what's the phone, what's the phone? I'm like holding the phone the whole time. And, she, and Xavier's like, take a picture of your phone. I'm like, I turned the camera onto like selfie mode. And by the time I went like this to take a picture, like she was right in the elevator. I snapped a couple of pictures. They were kind of blurry and my face was half cut, but it's fine because back then we were kind of thick. I just wanted to share that part. Another queen with the similar incident with Miss Universe 2016, of course, was Catriona Gray. Of course, she was crowned that morning and she did make an appearance at the after party. So actually, Catriona got on stage. She wasn't wearing her red iconic gown anymore and she wasn't wearing this piece. Um, when she when she was on stage but she really carried herself as a true queen and of course she's been a queen since but yeah it's interesting because i actually was recording the whole time like i said i recorded it's behind me and i'm more just like doing a video and then after that i actually switched it off because when they were going to do the toast i was like let me just face it to her i did have some moments where she looks like she's looking straight at my camera and of course you already knew if not, you had a feeling the one queen that I was going to share with you was meeting my idol, the queen of them all, Miss Pia Alonzo Wurzbach. But yeah, I actually got a chance to meet Pia not once, but twice. Back in 2016, she crowned her successor, Maxine Medina. My, one of my friends jokingly said, I know you're going to hunt down Pia. That's your girl? I'm like, I'm not gonna hunt down Pia. I hunted Pia down. Backstage was actually uh, barricaded with like those like roll thing. I, you you best believe your boy like maneuvered his way in. Sis, I was in football mode. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Until this guy like kind of like, kind of like pushed me away, right? And I look and I pick up my head and I remember him yelling at me. He was like, hey, you pushed Miss Universe. I was like, I did not push her. And he's like, yes, you did. You pushed Miss Universe. You pushed Pia Wurst back. And then I just realized what he said. And I looked and I see Pia in this beautiful white gown. And she was just like, she was all smiley and everything. She kind of looks like a little mermaid with like dark hair. I'm so sorry I didn't push you. And if I did, I apologize. I didn't mean to push you. I know you hear it all the time, but I'm one of your number one fans. Not only was she humbled, but she was really approachable. And I really appreciated that. It was actually Esther from the Miss Universe organization. And I will never forget what she did for me. You know, I was just like freaking out, right? This is, I, I never would have thought I would meet a Miss Universe winner, let alone my favorite Miss Universe winner, the best Miss Universe that I've ever seen in my life. And Esther took into consideration everything and gave me a moment and said to me, go ahead and share what you have to say. And I just looked at Pia and I'm like, I really love you and I mean no harm. You have always been an inspiration to me and it'll mean so much to me just to take one photo, just so I could brag, not only that I was here in the Philippines to cheer you on, but to actually share that I was, I had a moment with you. I went on camera mode and I just took a couple of pictures. And in that one photo, the guard who was yelling at me was in the photo, which is, which is fine. So I was very thankful and, and I was tired and I was super, super hungry. So I just turned to Pia and I just said, I love you, bye. So I ran away and it was just so funny. Uh, fast forward to 2018 back in Thailand, I did hear some rumors that Pia was gonna attend the pageant. I was about to enter the bar that everybody was saying to go to, right? It's like a gay bar or something. At that moment, I get a call and Joe was like, hey, come back to the hotel. And I'm like, why? And he's like, Pia's room is on the same floor as mine. And I said, how do you know? And she, 
Long story short, I ended up going back. We approached the room. Danielle Castillo, or I'm not too sure. I know she's a famous uh, news anchor or reporter. She answered the door and my friend Joe was so kind enough to, you know, approach for me because I was just like having flashbacks of the last moment when I saw Pia. My friend here, he's into pageant. He's the national director for our country back home and he's into pageants and his, his idol is Pia Wurzbach and it'll mean so much to him to meet her and they basically just shut us down and you know, I, I was just like, you know what, it's okay. My friend walked us back to the elevator. Let me give myself an intermission before I continue. I promise it's gonna get better. I like pressed my back against the wall and I just like dropped myself down. Danny or Danielle and um, another guy were approaching the elevator and, and I took matters into my own hands and I just turned around and I, and I had to speak up and I shared with her my experience with meeting Pia. So she tells me, Pia's gonna come down and I was like, oh my gosh. I hear a bunch of people walking towards the elevator and then I heard that one giggle and I look at I looked at my friend and I'm like, Pia's coming and she's like, how do you know? I'm like, that's her laugh. I know how she sounds when she laughs, that's Pia. Pia was in the back of the group and I and the whole time I'm like waving. And I kinda just embarrassed myself the second time. I was like Hi Pia, I don't think you remember me, but when you were Miss Universe, I met you in the Philippines when you crowned Maxine. But I actually changed my background to the picture of me and her, so that way she can kind of remember. And so we took a couple of pictures and yeah, they were nice. I even thanked her for sending me this, this postcard. Just meeting her was an amazing experience. I've met so much people in the past, but nothing compares to meeting somebody that you idolize, right? So Joe and I said goodbye. I told him I was gonna go back to my room. I went back down and I see Pia and her, her friends all waiting for their cab. Yes, I did. I approached her again and I said, Hi Pia, I'm so sorry, but the photos we took, I don't really like and they're kind of blurry. Can we take another one? She goes, sure. And her face was just stuck to mine and her shoulders and everything like I she was right next to me sis she was just right right here right we took a couple of pictures and then I put my phone down and I told her I was like can I just say no disrespect to any of the other queens not even to Catriona you will always be my favorite Miss Universe she grabs my face I love you and I remember when she was holding my face I held her hand I'm like I love you too and then you know her taxi came and then she was walking away and I'm like let me give it another moment <laughs> Pia and she turns and I'm like stay confidently beautiful with a heart and she went and she went like this and I did this Whew. sorry I really appreciate the fact that you're here to share with me my experience in meeting the Miss Universe Queens because I'm about ready to meet another Miss Universe. Hence, 2020 has not been the most glamorous year for anybody, right? Having said that, I want to thank you again. Thank you for being here with me, sharing my journey in meeting the Miss Universe Queens. And I'm just going to throw it out there. Hopefully, the Northern Marianas gets a spot in the Miss Universe pageant next year. Um, Miss Universe organization, you can save money because I already went ahead and ordered our sash. Hopefully we get to represent in the Miss Universe pageant. Thank you so much. Be safe. I love you. And hu guayza ho.